During a recent podcast interview, NBA star Stephen Curry's mother, Sonia, who almost aborted Steph, unveiled how she confessed it to the Warrior superstar. While discussing her new book, Fierce Love, a memoir of family and purpose with Luke Norsworthy on the Newsworthy with Norsworthy podcast, she said her experience of having an abortion after an unplanned pregnancy, it almost could not go in the book. So join us to discuss that topic together. Let's get started. Abortion. Even though Stephen Curry is ranked as one of the greatest point guards of all time, he is also widely regarded off the court for his deep Christian faith and his impressive charity works. He has been open about his Christian faith through the years, even wearing the Bible verse from Philippians 4.13 on his shoes. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Over the last decade, Curry has found many ways to honor God and point to his faith in Christ. In recent years, he's been wearing a blue wristband that says, In Jesus' name I play. However, 34 years ago, Curry's mom, Sonia, nearly came close to aborting her son. In her book, Fierce Love, a memoir of family, faith, and purpose, the mom of three explained that having already had an abortion while in high school, she found herself pregnant again. As she was about to enter a Planned Parenthood clinic, she felt the Holy Spirit intervene. Curry described what happened when she contemplated aborting her second child. But when it got to the reality, the nuts and bolts of making certain decisions like I was faced with, there could be no Stefan. If I would have gone through that, there would have been no Wardle Stephen Curry II. And you know, God had a plan for that child. And just the spirit interceding at that moment, in a way that I didn't even know at that moment as happening, just spoke to again the purpose, you know, of faith, and how I might best describe it. It's just, you know, faith that, okay, I don't want to make this decision because that would have been the second time. And I don't want to make that decision again. And now, I've just got to trust God to move forward with me having this child. I don't know what's going to happen between Dell and I at that point. And I've just got to make this one decision. I've got to make this one right decision," she explained. Moments later in the interview, Curry became emotional about the memory of what she did, expressing feelings of regret over the abortion and saying she believes he or she is in heaven. And she thinks about what she did all the time. She wants other women to know they're not alone. It could also be said that God certainly had a plan for Sonia too. Through her own experience, the NBA star's mother has now been able to share her story with so many others and maybe inspire them too in tough life decisions. I wrote Fierce Love to share my story, my testimony, and my experiences so that others may find strength and purpose in their own journeys. I want to encourage others to pray continuously, live intentionally, love fiercely, and laugh daily," she said. And thanks to her decision to follow God's path, Sonia has blessed the basketball world with a true sporting hero and taught him the fundamentals of life. As Curry shared, from the beginning, my mom has been a rock of encouragement, faith, discipline, and gratitude for me and my siblings. This faith has been vital for Curry and something he's more than happy to express. In fact, on being awarded with the MVP in 2014, Curry explained the celebratory gesture he uses on the court and said, I pound my chest and point to the sky. It symbolizes that I have a heart for God, something that my mom and I came up with in college. I do it every time I step on the court as a reminder of who I'm playing for. People should know who I represent and why I am who I am, and that's because of my Lord and Savior. The NBA community sure is grateful to Sonia for not undergoing abortion a second time. Who knows what would have been the trajectory of the sport and the Warriors if Steph never existed. Forget picking up a basketball. Family dramas. The drama between Curry's parents actually made headlines recently. The couple reportedly split last August after more than 30 years of marriage, with both accusing the other of cheating. Amid their divorce, both have moved on and found new significant others. But during this year's NBA Finals, the drama got even more bizarre. Dell and Sonia Curry married in 1988, but in 2020, the longtime couple legally separated. In the following year, they announced their divorce via a joint statement. We are so thankful for all the many blessings and successes. We stay committed to and supportive of our children and grandchildren, and will remain on connected path. We ask that our privacy be respected and prayer for our family as we move forward. The statement read, the split quickly turned nasty when Dell accused Sonia of cheating on him with former NFL player Steven Johnson. 
he attempted to block alimony payments with claims that she was living with Johnson at his home in Tennessee. According to court documents, Dell claimed Sonia began her extramarital affair with Mr. Johnson during the marriage and before the date of separation, and she lied to Dell each time she cheated on him. In corresponding documents, Sonia claimed that she wasn't living with Johnson. Instead, she claimed that she was living independently because Dell wouldn't let her live at the family home. She also accused Dell of cheating during their marriage with multiple women. Fast forward a few months to Game 4 of the 2022 NBA Finals, and Sonia showed up with Johnson. But things got more bizarre when Dell was spotted in the crowd with his new girlfriend, a woman named Nikki Smith. And as it turned out, Johnson and Smith used to be married. So the Currys were ultimately involved in a wife swap. And even after Curry scored 43 points in Game 4 during the Golden State Series against the Boston Celtics, the NBA legend hugged his mom and fist-bumped Johnson. At the same time, Dell was in the crowd cheering for his son with Smith by his side. With the Curry's divorce being so public over the past few months, Steph has surely been asked about it during several interviews. Earlier this year, during an appearance on The Ringer, he admitted that there is a big difference in sharing moments with his parents as individuals compared to when they were a couple. I had to make sure I was in that moment with both of them separately, and this wasn't just this whole kind of thing. That is how I choose to approach that, because it is challenging," Curry said. Steph Curry added that he could be mad at his parents and tell them, y'all left this up, but he's able to stay calm in the situation because of how they raised him. Stefan and his wife While there's an endless drama going on between his parents, Stefan is living his best life with his wife Aisha Curry. They met when they were still teenagers. During an interview with Jimmy Fallon, Aisha talked about her first impression of the NBA star. I was maybe 14 years old when we first met, and I just remember thinking that he was so cute. Stefan also weighed in on what he first thought about his current wife. I mean, I knew she was beautiful. We were both shy, so we didn't really know how to talk to each other and approach each other. They tied the knot in a lavish North Carolina ceremony back in 2011, and recently, they looked happier than ever as they headed for a romantic lunch date amid their 11th wedding anniversary celebrations in St. Tropez. Steph made an Instagram post dedicated to their wonderful years, captioning, 11, my ish, loving this journey with you and more, already blessed in so many ways, and who knows what's next. That's the best part. Through it all, we keep growing and loving each other. Next chapter begins. And Aisha noted that the couple is more than halfway to 20 years of marriage in her Instagram post, captioning, 11, today, we celebrated 11 years married. It's truly flown by. Getting to spend my life with my best friend, my love, my rock, my everything. Every year just gets better. I'm so grateful and feel so blessed. More than halfway to 20. That's crazy. Okay, back to celebrating. I love you. Both Steph and Aisha shared photos of them standing in front of a door marked 11 on the streets of France. And the NBA MVP also posed in front of a door with 30, the jersey number he wears for the Golden State Warriors. What do you think about Stephen Curry? Is he your favorite NBA star? Let us know in the comments down below.